Did you know that only 7% of our viewers are actually subscribed? We love creating content for you and want to keep doing it, but we need your support to grow our channel so we can make ends meet. So, if you enjoy our videos and want to see more, please consider subscribing and liking our videos. Thanks for your support. Hi and welcome to Cycle Maintenance Academy. I'm Arik and in today's video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your cable disc brakes to hydraulic. Ok, let's begin. Upgrading from mechanical disc brakes to hydraulics can significantly improve the overall braking performance. With hydraulic disc brakes you get much better stopping power and you'll have more control. They are also low maintenance too, so you can spend more time riding and less time tinkering with your brakes. Tools and parts required Bike stand Set of allen keys 8mm spanner Hydraulic brake hose clamp blocks Hydraulic brake hose cutters or a utility knife Vice or mole grips Grease Mallet or hammer Olive and a connector insert. These should come with your new hydraulic brake. Preparation Put the bike in a stand. Remove the front wheel. Check out our video here if you're not sure how to do this. Watch this video if you need help with removing the electric bike front wheel. Removing the mechanical disc brake. Under the brake cable in a caliper. Cut the cable end. And remove the cable from the caliper. Use a 5mm allen key to remove the caliper. If there's an adapter, screw onto the fork, leave it in place. If required, using a 2mm or 3mm allen key, remove the hose guide. Slide out the outer casing and remove the brake cable from the lever. Remove the handlebar grip. We have a great video here if you need help with this task. Use a 4 or 5mm allen key to loosen the brake lever. and remove it from the handlebars. Fitting the hydraulic disc brake. Slide the brake lever on the handlebars, but don't tighten it yet. Attach the hose to the fork. Fit the caliper, but don't tighten it yet. Look at the hose. If it's too long, it will have to be shortened. Move the hose to where it should reach the brake lever. Mark it with a tape or marker pen.
use the 8mm spanner to undo and remove the connecting bolt from the lever. Let it slide down the hose. Grasp the hose and pull it out of the lever. Remove the brake caliper from the fork. Use the hose clamp blocks to secure the hose in the vise. If you don't have vise, you can use mole grips. Make sure that you cut it straight in 90 degrees. Fit the olive. Place the connector insert in the hose and gently tap it with a hammer until the top of the connector touches the hose. Note that if the hose has not been cut correctly, the top of the connector will not fully touch the end of the hose. This can lead to leaks from the system. Reattach the caliper and the hose to the fork. Grease the olive and the thread on the connecting bolt. Slide the hose into the brake lever. While pushing the hose in, screw the connecting bolt. Tighten the bolt using the 8mm spanner. Refit the cover. Refit the handlebar grip. Remove the disc brake pad spacer and refit the wheel. Now it's time to adjust the brake. Watch our video here if you need help with aligning the pads and the rotor. Test the brake. If it feels spongy, then it might need bleeding. Find out how to bleed your brake here. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you want to see our channel grow, then consider subscribing, liking the video or supporting us on Patreon. Thanks and see you in the next video.